reviewer, I can reveal yeah. there are no plans for a new series. Yeah, no, but it wasn't their previous series. Oh, hang on, wait a minute. It says here there might be a new series. <laughs> What's the problem? That music can only mean one thing, of course. It is that Chuckle Vision, Porky yeah. Vision, is here uh, for the week, and uh, we haven't had, heard from you since uh, same time last week, I guess. And uh, I can't remember what you did last week. Yes. Um, I can't remember. Broad if you church. Finished, I think you did finish Broad up church. Broad church. Broad church. Finished Broad church yeah. last week. Now, mm. now, got to tell you about Line of Duty. Line of Duty. Yes. I mean, this is a riveting program. I yeah. have to say, absolutely riveting. You mm. know, and it, I, I, there's one se- there's one episode left now to six. Yes. So it's all going to be revealed. The so denouement the, is upon us. Denouement is is upon us. Yeah. yeah. But it's such a difficult plot to work out mm. because. The main star is Thania, you know, the uh, actress Thania. Yes. Who plays... Uh, Tandy. Eh? Tandy. Tandy. Tandy Newton, isn't it? Tandy Newton, yeah. that's the one. Tandy Newton. Yeah. And she plays uh, Ross, the detective chief uh, superintendent. Right. DCS, that's right, isn't it? DCS, yeah. yes. Yeah. And that's a very senior role for a woman in that sort of role. Now, the thing is, it... it what it, I had to go back and watch the first episode, right, to find out what on earth is going on from the start. Yes. What happens is, there's a serial killer on the loose, okay? Right. Who has a habit of cutting up its victims mm. and burying the body parts in oh, right. the forest, you know, and that, that sort of stuff. I thought it was all about corruption. Well, this is what I'm telling you. Yeah. This is what I'm telling you. This guy's on, on the... Now, the... The squad investigating it always have a senior investigating officer who happens to be DCS Ross, okay? Yeah, right. But for some unknown reason, she is shown in the show, but it's not apparent to her colleagues, Mm. she's manipulating evidence on this case. Right. And the the big secret's going to be in the last episode, why is she doing this? Is this the same woman from the other show, right? The replacement or whatever it's called? No. Different woman. Uh, the replacement woman, yeah. right, now this is, now don't interrupt here, because Sorry. DCS Ross, to get clarification. DCS Ross, mm. somebody notices that she's playing this. so what they do is, yeah. the anti-corruption squad is called AC-12, right, and AC-12 contains the officer you've just talked mm. about, the woman from the replacement, okay, right, who is now drafted in to DC Ross, yeah. to help, quote, help her out, uh-huh. by the chief constable, but she's an undercover AC-12 so officer. So they suspect she may be up to no good. They suspect Ross mm. might be, d- yeah. you know, old uh, DCS uh, Ross. Right. Ross. Tandy. Ross. Yeah, Ross. Yeah. Might be up to no good. Okay. So, they drift this other woman in. Yeah. You know, who's keeping an eye on things. Yeah. But it, it, it has now, uh, the last episode is going to have to clear up a number of problems, mm. and, and they are these. Right. That the way we've been driven in the first five episodes is that DC Roz is actually trying to protect her own husband, yeah. who is the serial killer. Right. And all sorts of clues are put into place about him being in certain mm. places when killings have taken place. Yes. So is she protecting him? Right. And did she go to the forensic expert's home in the first episode yeah. where he was subsequently killed? Yes. Even though... The shocking way the episode uh, spilled Mm. out was that it looked like she was dead on the kitchen floor. Right. But as he was about to cut her up... And somebody's fingers are missing, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, that's his fingers. As he was about to cut her up Mm. with a circular saw indicating that he's the man who's been chopping up these bodies, right? She wakes up, but we don't know what happened after that. Uh That's never been revealed. Right. Except that he lost three of his fingers. Sure. Now, that wasn't because she pushed the the circular saw back onto him. That's because yeah. he scratched her, and as a police officer, she knew to cut his fingers off, right. so there would be no DNA under his ah, fingernails, see. you see? Yeah. Now, the point is... Did she take the fingers away, then? Well, they disappeared. Oh, right. Nobody knows. Mm. So, so, but, but now we've got to the penultimate episode. Yeah. She's actually gone and shopped her own husband. Right. So, if... For the last five episodes, she's been a corrupt police officer, Mm. manipulating evidence on the case she's investigating. Yes. Why has she been doing it, if not to protect her husband, who she has now shopped? Right. She has now literally rung up her own force Mm. and said, you've got to come and arrest my husband. She actually gave him the warning and said, I, you know, I warn you, anything you say will be taken down in evidence and all that. But in between all that, you won't believe what's happened. No, I can't. She's had this wound on her wrist. Since episode one. You know, I saw something on Twitter about right, this, and apparently right. it's a really horrible and obvious no, wound, no. which nobody spotted. No, no, no. Is it that true? started off as a, a cut. Yeah. So you're thinking that cut must have come from the circular saw yeah. that was being held over it in yeah. the first episode, 
and it still hasn't been explained how she got out of that. Right. This guy was kneeling across her body, mm. was about to cut her up, and yeah. her eyes opened, uh -huh. and then suddenly he ends up dead, not her. Right. That's not been explained. Okay. That will have to be explained in the last episode, okay. okay? Right. But this cut, nobody knows where it's come from, and why did it get so badly infected? Yes. It started off as a cut. Now, she wouldn't go to hospital, yeah. and you assume that is because there would then be a medical record of a doctor of having a, to stitch yes. up the cut, okay? And because it, it looks like one of those MRSA kind of flesh-eating bug type well, things now, Well, well, now you're ahead of yourself now. Am I? Because in each episode, the cut got worse. Yeah. Now, in the penultimate episode, her yeah. husband even said, look, I'm sure that that's more than just a scratch. Yeah. The flesh is actually starting to smell. Yeah. So anyway, right. she goes right. in the bathroom with another bottle of chlorophyll or something like yeah. that, you know, right. to try and douse it. Hmm. But then she goes into like a coma because there's a banging on the bathroom door. Yeah. And when she opens it, the man there is the forensic expert hmm. that she killed. What? In the first episode. Well, how's he there? Well, it's a it's a vision. She's, oh, I see. You know, her head's gone because right because what's happening is it's a sort of Bobby in the shower moment. Yeah, Bobby in Bobby in the shower. But what's happened is this wound has now got so bad she's yeah. become delirious. Well, it looks ridiculous. I yeah. mean, I wouldn't know how anybody could notice that. But then the most shocking thing happens. Yeah. She wakes up in hospital mm. and she's got one of those gowns on. She's in bed. Yeah. And her left hand is in a sling held upwards oh, like yeah. this. Right. And the doctors, and she says, what am I doing here? What's happened? And they said, well, we had to give you some emergency treatment, you know. And she says, what, what, you know. And they say, we'll leave the room. Your husband wants to talk to you. Right. She then glances to... Her arm off, they? Yes. <sighs> she then glances to her left to find that the top half of her left hand right. is gone. Blimey. Left arm. So it's gone below the wrist where the wound was. I bet she wishes she kept that guy's fingers now. <laughs> That's a bit stupid, isn't it? No. So, I anyway. she would have had some fingers. So, anyway... <laughs> She has now gone completely off her rocker. Yeah. She thinks her husband has deliberately cut her uh, right. her hand off. Because... Is this the husband that she shopped? Well, she hasn't shopped him yet, you ah. see, at this, at this point. Okay. So she's in hospital. He's visiting her twice yeah. a day. He comes to visit her in the afternoon. Mm. Not there. He says, where's she gone? Right. They said she discharged herself. He said, how could you let her out in her condition? Yeah. She, you know, she demanded and all patients can discharge themselves. So she goes home. Then he comes home, and then she says, you did this for my infidelity. Yeah. So she has had an affair with somebody. Oh, right. And we think the somebody is the assistant chief constable of the force, mm. who is also playing a double agent role. Yeah. Because on the one hand, he's pretending to be very supportive to her. Yes. In her, you know, in her senior investigation officer of the killings. Yeah. But on the other hand, mm. he's getting an insider at AC-12. Yeah to give him secret information on what they found out about Gosh, the inquiry. it's not easy to follow this, is it? It's not easy to follow. No. Not easy to follow. So, what we're waiting for now is the final episode to find out who has she been trying to protect in the investigation, mm. why has she been, been manipulating evidence, yeah. I mean, literally, going into the the store at the police station yeah. where she has exclusive uh, access mm, right. and taking pieces of evidence out and putting different pieces of evidence in. Yes. Blood samples, yeah. that sort of stuff, right. right? Why has she been doing all that? Mm. This is the vital question. Yes. And this is and what... will they get to the bottom of whatever the corruption scenario is, perhaps? Of course they will. Will they? Of course they will. You see, she has definitely framed mm. the guy they've got locked up for these killings. Right. And she would not admit it until the fact that more body parts were found in Epping Forest... Yeah. And, and they said, oh, they're not as badly decomposed as the mm. first lot. Yeah. So everybody says, it must be another body. Mm. No. What it was, was that it was another half of the same body, right. but kept in a freezer. Oh, so that's why it's not so badly composed. But guess how the thing then unfolded. Mm. So she breathes a sigh of relief and says, so he did kill her then. Right. And he couldn't have been in jail when the other murder took place. Guess what? What? When the second lot of body parts were, d were thrown away in Epping Forest, yeah. they were wrapped in newspaper, yeah. which had a date on mm. them, which proved that the man that they've got locked up as the killer yes. couldn't have done it. Because it was after he'd already been put inside. In indeed. Yeah. So he couldn't... So I'm quite good at this, aren't I? Yeah, you're good at this, I yeah. am. So that is going to be a fantastic uh, And when finale. is the final uh, episode? I think it's on Sunday. Is it Sunday? It's on Sunday, yeah. Because I nearly yeah. ended up seeing it, mm. and I think it might have been Sunday night. It's brilliant. In fact, it was Sunday night, because I came, we came back from yeah. the trip to Scotland. Yeah, yeah. And I came home, yes. and after we'd stopped off, yes. we had a couple of drinks and a relatively quiet night. That's right. Because we were working in the morning. I yeah. came home, and I switched it on. That's right. TV, and yeah. suddenly here was this show oh, it's brilliant. that you'd be going on about. I thought, I can't watch this one. No. It's because brilliant. I'm going to have to watch it from the beginning. Yeah, it's brilliant. Michael, the lover, long before him. 
was no other in his time. 